It's a criminal trend no one in the Rogue Valley wants to see resurface, but a new rash of car break-ins is plaguing residents in North Medford once more. NBC 5's Elizabeth Ruiz is at the scene of the latest acts of car theft. Elizabeth? According to Medford Police, two cars were broken into this week. Here along Silver Palm and Forest Hills Drive, one car was stolen and later recovered. Tonight I spoke with one of the victims. Vehicle vandals and thieves are at it again. Criminal acts that are becoming all too common in Medford. It irritated me, but because I had something taken from me. Medford resident Jerome Dean is the latest victim. Dean says someone broke the window of his truck and stole his wallet. And by using his garage door opener in his car, they stole a new welder and some hunting knives out of his garage. On Tuesday in just a street over, Medford police write on Facebook that this suspect, Tyson Manny, broke into several cars on Forest Hills Drive and even stole a Jeep. That vehicle was recovered after a pursuit, but Manny is still on the run and two guns are missing from the cars. According to the Medford Police Incident Report, theft from a vehicle was at 757 as of July this year, which is on track to come out even higher than each of the past two years. As for the latest car break-ins, Dean recovered the welder. He found it hiding behind a neighbor's bush. He also found something else. And I found somebody else's ID, a lady down around the corner um, that was thrown in the gutter and, and returned it to her. She said that her wallet had been taken out of her car. After Dean's experience, he has a message for his neighbors. No, I wouldn't be using your garage door opener in your vehicle anymore. Be keeping it in the house. Off camera, I spoke with numerous residents around here who say they have had some similar experiences. Earlier this year, several items from Medford car break-ins were re recovered and two suspects were arrested back in February. Live in Medford, Elizabeth Ruiz, NBC5 News.